Hi everyone, right, another video that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you how to use up you know the edges on doilies when you're cutting your doilies up well I've used the flower arrangement that I made earlier but I put it on the doily edges and I'm going to show you how to do that you need a little bit of felt and then I've cut these and they're just from the edge of a doily mat I don't waste them I can chop them up for this one you're going to need a uh, 10 so you need 10 of these and the way to do it is trim them off fold them in like that take your glue gun a little bit of glue inside just to help them stick now I've left my glue gun too long so I might have to help it along take the little bit of felt pop it on and pinch that's all you have to do and you've got your first petal turn it round do the opposite side again just stretch these out fold it in half half again uh, and we'll just do this section a little bit of glue inside there just so that it sticks pop it on and pinch and you just keep doing that Uh, like I've said before about these glue guns, they, I sell them and they are very, very good because you get the um, fine tip. If you have them on too long without use, the glue will heat up and melt in the chamber. Um, and then when you push the button, it's uh, hard. So sometimes you do have to help it along till it gets going again. that's all but i always use this type of glue gun okay so we turn that around put that on and pinch just to give it a bit of shape now i'm just going to try and do that with my glue gun again yeah now i've got it going now we're going to do that side like so Pinch that. Now this side. They make really nice flowers. Nice cluster uh, flower, petaled flower, or whatever you want to call them. Take another one. And they're very very quick to do and look at the style of flower you get it's gorgeous so that's the first um three six eight on there 12 you'll need not 10 sorry um did i say 10 i didn't mean that <laughs> um so again we're going to go in that section there just to fill it up a little bit for the center keep going like that and just fold them over bring that into the center I'm going to try and get four more on uh, four all together on the center bit just to fill that in a bit and it double layers it that's fine it's working how I want it is with having it on too long that's great so I've now got I mean I could leave that like that and put whatever I want on that but uh, like I say they look gorgeous with these um, that I was inspired to make by Colette Garland that's a friend of mine um, and I've just loaded her video up so you should be able to see them so what I'm going to do now is cut a piece of felt to go in the middle of that only to um, 
add and hold the flowers that I'm going to be putting on it and the leaves and whatever so we just cut a circle or as near as damn it so they say just going to add a little bit of glue all the way around that pop that in the center and then I can start building on mine so what I'm going to do is again I'm going to use these leaves I absolutely love this idea of putting the flower clusters on. I'm going to move them in a little bit. Sorry if you can hear my stomach. I have been fed. So I'm just going to work my way around. Let me get a few more of those out. Here's another one. I'm more or less adding them to the centre. There's another one. And another one. Like so. Uh, and then, like I say, I'm going to do the central part. Now, the centre of this one, I'm going to add um, some of these clusters. And I'm going to mix them. So it's just to add the glue, pop that on, like so. Just going to get some more of those, and I'll have quite a few of them somewhere. Oh, I have some of those as well, I might put those on this time, because I do like them. Let me just see, sorry but I have them in a bag at the side of me what's this one no oh, it's a red one have a multicolored one i think i want some more of those these got a bit of yellow and red in them so i'm just going to take a couple of these out they do have a bit of greenery as well, which is great because that's a, always a filler. Pop the glue on there. Pop that one on there. And we can do on this side as well. Like so. And they've got stamen on us. So, you know, a really good mix of them. I'll just see if I can find another one I want. I love um, adding and uh, mixing. Mixing and matching things. Although I can also be a little bit, um, you know, everything has to um, alternate properly. <laughs> a little bit OCD sometimes. I'm just going to put the other one here. That's the gold one, so we can move them around. Just pop that in like that. I need a central flower for that, which I'm actually going to put that one in. Although it's a it is a little bit too big. I've got one a little bit smaller than that. Oh, I've got that one. I like that. Let's just put this in. I think. Yeah. turn that one around and then what we can do is to start and fill this in with the uh, little clusters so I've got some clusters here so very similar to what I showed you before that Clet kindly shared with us I'm just going to fill that in there I might use all white ones actually I do like them bending over the edge that uh, will just keep hold of the glue in there like that and like I said these can be as full as you want them to be
like so. I want another one in there. I might actually put this other one in here, the little cluster. Poke that in there. Like that. Um, and they're really quick to make. Do you know what? I don't like that. I don't like that middle one. I need a proper flower in there. Let's see about this one. Don't like that one. What about that one? Nope, don't want that one. <laughs> it's just playing around with what you've got, basically. I actually like that. Yes, that's going in. Most certainly. I'm just going to pop that in the center, press that down and uh, hey presto there you go, another gorgeous flower, I mean don't forget that one was a layered one that was done with smaller flowers but you can do with them with any size and I like them, it's a great way of using up your oddments from your stash um, and they really do look pretty so I hope that helps I was going to put some of them in but I changed my mind um, just a great way of using your oddments thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now